right there. Yes, yes, sir. We do have it on screen. Okay. If, we, if we could put that up so the audience could see what we're talking about. And Commissioner Weatherford. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, after some discussions going through this uh, reserve list to fund some of the things out of the uh, reserves that we had in the FYI budget, uh, I would discuss with human resources item number 22, which is a workforce satisfaction study. Uh, this money, uh, the 52000 is to administer that. And my understanding is that there's no intention of doing that one uh, any time in the near future. So I'd like to recommend that item 22 be merged into item 40, 14, which is vehicle replacements. And hopefully that extra 52,000 would get us a couple more cars. And that's my only suggestion in uh, that. I have. So we have, we have a second and we have, now we have discussion. Okay, so Commissioner Cupid. Well, we had our session the first week in January. There was discussion about the satisfaction survey, I believe, and following discussion where we provided that this would be completed. And I'm very curious to know what has happened between then and now for this to be. Um, no, let, let us want to finish, please, for us to make this change. Then number two, I'm very curious to know, again, echoing the comments that I had at our agenda session on Monday, just how we are making decisions about money that becomes free without transparent discussion and contemplation by all members of this board. This is completely new to me and not in the direction that I thought we were going in. And I would like some clarification as to what's going on. First question I have, is Tony Hagler here? Tony, could you, could you address the issue that Commissioner Cupid had brought up about, are we or are we not doing the satisfaction survey? Sir, so the satisfaction survey was put on hold until after the class and pay would be accomplished. And so we were awaiting implementation of that and then our, take the board's further direction on whether to do the study for the employee satisfaction. Chairman, if I may respond to Chairman, that. The items on this list don't have a date of implementation next to it to say that it has to be completed over the next month, two or three. And if I'm not mistaken, some of these items may not be executed until the next budget seat until the next budget season starts. So if that is our approach to that item, to what other item are we taking such a similar approach to? Are we are we executing this obligation during this fiscal year or we're gonna carry it for or is it possible we can carry it forward to next year? That item would cover a three-year term for the satisfaction survey. It was to administer that over a three-year period. Okay. Um, as, as to when it would occur this year would be waiting direction from the board or from the compensation committee that was to be reinstated to give direction uh, or advisement when to do that survey. Okay. So it was, it was in fact, tied to some process. Yes. Sir. Including the, the pay and compensate of uh, the uh, compensation study. Uh, it was, committee. It was a recommendation from the committee and, and with the board to hold off until we implemented the class and pay study to to move forward with the start, uh, satisfaction. And, and Chairman, with us starting that committee soon, I would say why not at least provide that committee discretion to consider this item before we limit their ability to to be able to move forward on something that they had originally made a decision on and that the the employees have been waiting to participate in. Okay. Commissioner Weatherford? Yes. Uh, my understanding is the satisfaction study has been developed by the Archer Group, and that is ready to go on the shelf. This money is to administer that by the Archer Group, and that I, for one, don't have the confidence to have them administer that. So I have a problem with giving them funds to do something additional when I don't feel they've done what they should have done on the pay and class study. So if you want to keep this money in reserve but not dedicate it solely to the Archer Group, then I don't have a problem with it. But my understanding is that we're not going for the implementation for quite some time, so I felt like it would be better to have a couple extra cars 
then have it sitting on the shelf until we found somebody else that could administer that. Mr. Chairman, may I? Sure, absolutely. It was my understanding that was a decision to be made by the compensation committee uh, as to when this would come forward. Um, and that was some of the direction I understood. And that was going to be part of the reconstitution of that committee. So um, would you like to modify your motion? Um, Mr. That we just, Mr. Bolton. Yes, yes, sir. If we specifically address a certain company, does the money have to be allocated to that company, or can we just say for implementation of? I, we could we could amend it to say the implementation of the satisfaction study, sir. It doesn't but, have to pertain directly to Archer. And my concern more than anything was the fact that who was going to do it, as opposed yes. to the fifty-two thousand. Yes, sir. You could we could amend that. So I hear a motion to modify. Okay. We have a second. Second is okay because um, my I share the same concerns that Commissioner Weatherford does. My my objection was to the Archer Group doing the survey. Okay. So, so what, what I hear is we're going to just modify that line yes, to sir. retain the the survey, but it'll be it'll not be connected to any specific company right now. And um, will, will that meet your your issues, uh, Commissioner Cupid? Yes, that does. I just, I have some concerns about this communication that we're having. Right. Because if there's an issue with how we've obligated funds contractually and we're saying that we're not moving forward with that, then in, in this type of form, then that's a bigger issue that impacts other items beyond this and could even become a, a legal matter if we've executed a contract and we're saying it has not been fulfilled, then I just think we just need to exercise caution in sure. how we communicate. Yeah, but this is not an executed contract I do not for, this so. for this line item? No, sir. Okay. Now, that's her concern. Can, it, it, but it also goes to the point of the real issue he was that, that I've heard from two board members, and perhaps a third one here shortly, is that they did not want a specific company to do the survey. They want to leave that in the hands of the of the compensation committee to address. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let Tony speak to that. Okay. Uh, Commissioner, we, we do have a contract with Archer um, to do to develop the study and to administer it for a three year period. But we have a contract but we haven't obligated that part of the contract yet. No, sir, we have not. So that provides a provision to go back and renegotiate the contract or execute some other provision of it. I, I would have to defer to legal on what we can do with the terms of the okay. contract. So. Do we have that option, um, Ms. Dance? I have not seen the contract in some time, so I would need to review the contract. Okay. okay Mr. Burrell. Yeah, I, I was going to ask that, but also... Oh, sorry. <laughs> also, um, the 52680 is for the sole purpose of administering the contract. The satisfaction survey. Yes, ma'am. I mean the, the survey. So whether we pull that or not and use someone else to administer it, how do we know that's going to be 52680? And legally now, we don't know if we can use another company or if we're obligated to honor our contract with Archer. If, if I so might what if we just comment? take that out and leave it in reserves, and then when the time comes, we'll know what amount we... we that, that would be more appropriate, I believe. I believe you should address the contract matter as a contract matter. Right. And separate it from this process. That would be my recommendation. And if I could make a brief recommendation on this, I mean, we could remove the Archer line, and it doesn't di dictate whether we use Archer or not. I mean, we the, the purpose is for the satisfaction survey per this line. Whether the contract comes back and we can use somebody else or we have to use Archer, the monies would be available there for that intended use. So we could strike the Archer name and still leave the monies, and this would be in reserves anyway by bringing it forward into FY17 to be appropriated. So it doesn't have to say, it doesn't have to read Archer, and that would give legal the time to review the contract to determine whether we have to use Archer or we could use a different vendor. Mr. Roth? Mr. Chairman, what I would suggest is um, 
that we do a clerk's note expressing um, Commissioner Weatherford's and my concerns about having Archer do the study due, due to our concerns about past performance on other issues. Um, leave it as listed. It, it gives legal a chance to look at the uh, contract to see if we can come out of it. Um, like Bill said, you know, we can always, even if we put it in here with this line where it says um, Archer Group, the board can always come back and say, we're not going to do it with Archer, we're going to do it with somebody else. But I, I think I would like to see something in the minutes that at least two of the commissioners have an issue with it moving forward with Archer. I mean, I think we should do the survey. And I, and I also point out that this 52,000, this is one year. This is not the three years, right, Bill? I, no, that is for the three years. Okay, because we're moving money from 16 to 17. Why would, you know, why are we moving all three years? Basically, what we would have to do again is move any remaining amounts similar to the uh, one. So of the we other can't ones. leave anything in 16. I'm sorry. We can't leave anything in 16. That's why you're moving it. Uh, we to reserve it. We would continue to deplete that money as it was spent down. Okay. So I, I just think that a clerk's note at least gets in there that there was some concern. Okay, but we still have a motion. We still have a motion. That's that's real. So we have to act on that. But Commissioner I'll make Cupid. A, uh, Commissioner Cupid. Let's look at the practical implication of leaving that note there. And I, well, let me just back up and say I support it. I support Commissioner Burrell's suggestion to just leave off the item as opposed to contemplate it here. I'm very concerned about us putting in text about being concerned about Archer's performance over $52,000 when we have a $13 million line item referring to the same organization. So you're saying you can't rely on the veracity of their work for $52,000, but you have a line item in here for $13 million with, that seems to qualify them to direct a significant amount of money that we're reserving for the county. And I just think if there's an issue with Archer, then that should be dealt with separately because um, if someone were to look at this from the outside looking in, it just doesn't make sense for us to be questioning an amount that's nominal for an organization that has a significant amount of funds at play. So my question to the county manager is since this comes under your purview, what's your, what's your thoughts? Well, I think we need to look at the contract, but I, I agree with uh, Commissioner Cupid. I think that we can go back and look at the, the contract and decide. But to start dis discussing in here removing a, 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 a contract when you got a $13 million item on pay in class and you questioning uh, $52,000, I'd rather not deal with that unless we have a legal review and just we get the message, we can restrict it. I think that's something that the class and pay committee can look at, the compensation committee. And let us deal with it then. Mr. Ott. I, I want to make something clear here. Um, this thirteen million has nothing to do with Archer. It has it is reserve funds that were left in the budget Correct. if the board decided to move forward with paying class. It has nothing to do with Archer. Correct. And to imply that it does is misleading. <clears throat> and number two, this not everyone on this board agrees that there are not issues with Archer. And this board has discussed it at agenda meetings, which are public meetings. This is a public meeting. And, and if the board members have issues with some people that have done service for the county, the citizens deserve the right to know. We don't need to be keeping it a secret. And we just talked about transparency. And there is nothing wrong if, if there's an issue. That's what we're here to talk about. We, we shouldn't just be trying to say, well, we don't want to talk about it, or we shouldn't put a note. Um, and like I said, this $13 million, this has nothing to do with Archer. Archer happened to do the, the paying class study. But this $13 million, you know, to, to try to say that it has something to do with Archer is, is wrong. I'm, so I'm, what, I, what I'd like to do is propose a way forward then is that if we, if, we vote, if we vote for the motion and we vote, if we vote for it, then we've modified it as reflected by uh, Commissioner Weatherford to leave it in here, but to try and find some way contractually to delete the Archer connection. If we vote it down, then it stays the same, and then we can come back to you and ask you to take it out of 
um, of the taking the line item out of the sheet. Is does that? That's not clear. Is no. that is that a? But because there, clearly there's there's not a consensus on the board here of how to move forward on this issue. We have an item here that we could con conceivably still talk about in executive session because they're talking about a contract and uh, ch changing the nature of our contract. I think is that an executive session topic or is it an open open meeting topic? No. That would not be appropriate for executive session. All right, okay. So we're going to, the cat's out of the bag, so we're going to have to come to decision here tonight what we want to do about it. Okay, so I'll go down, I'll just poll the board members one more time here and let you all uh, make a comment, and then we'll go ahead and vote on the issue, okay? Uh, Commissioner Cupid. Um, what you just proposed is not clear to me. I don't, I don't understand. Okay. I'm just trying to go back to ground zero, where we were before we started the discussion because there seems to be some issues about the specific topic, this line item, and there's pros and cons on both sides. So by leaving it, by going back to the original way it's stated here on the spreadsheet, mm -hmm. then it stays intact on here. Then we can have an additional discussion if we want to pull it from the, line, from the budget line. It's a two-step process. But we have to deal with the original motion as modified before we can do anything. Okay. What is the original motion as modified? I'm sorry. What is the original motion as modified? We we just we, we call we we um, we still leave it in there as a we're going to leave it in as a workforce satisfaction study. We'll leave that in there, but we're going to delete the Archer project name from it. Okay. That's how it's modified. Okay. So if we vote for that, then that's how it'll read on the line item. Still, it's still in there. It leaves us a, enough enough room to discuss how we're going to do that. Uh, if we vote it down. Then we're going to go back to way it was reading right now with no change. So uh, that's any uh, more, uh, Commissioner Cooper? Do I have any other comments on that? Yes, let, let me okay. process that as, as I'm understanding. Okay, I'll come back to you. Okay. Commissioner Weatherford? Well, I certainly didn't mean to cause this much controversy, but I did go through every the, one of these lines uh, before and since uh, yesterday's agenda prep meeting and did discuss this with HR. And the feeling I got, whether appropriate or not, was that they have this particular study on the shelf that that was produced by the Archer Group, that the other amount of money here is to pay the remainder of the contract for what they've already performed, but they didn't seem to have any um, uh, wherewithal to go forward with them doing this project because they haven't, as some of us stated, been very satisfied with their work sure. so far. So that was the purpose of this, to reallocate it to something that we definitely needed some more money in and not to do the study implementation as um, listed for the Archer Group, and that was the purpose of my motion. So that's all I have to say. Okay, thank you. Commissioner Burrell? Yes. Um, I think it would be cleaner if we remove the item altogether for now until we can review the contract and see um, what we can do legally, and then it can always come back as a separate agenda item once the Compensation Committee decides and brings it back to us for recommendation. Okay, thank you. Commissioner Ott? I stand by my original second. Okay, thank you. And Commissioner Cupid? I support um, what Commissioner Burrell proposed to just remove the line item and for us to revisit it okay. separately. And so I just want to make sure I'm right about this. The only way to do that is we have to vote on the motion as amended. We have to, I'm not saying we're going to do that. I'm just saying the only way to get to where what I'm hearing is we would have to vote the motion down. That would leave the spreadsheet intact. And then we'd have to discuss okay. a motion to delete that line item from the spreadsheet. No, sir, I believe I can modify my motion to reflect that. You can like do that. All right. That's another way. I'm sorry. I would like to modify my motion to delete item 22 from uh, item 18 previously on the consent agenda. Okay, is there a second? Second. Second. Any discussion? Well, all right. Well, I you have to ask. What is the seconds you have to ask? I mean, you, okay. Like, I'm asking. Yeah, you. Yeah, I'm fine. Just so we're not here till tomorrow. <laughs> oh, I'm waiting for the comment. Oh, that was the comment. All right. Any more discussion? I call the question. All right. So we're going to delete that line item from this spreadsheet. Yes, sir. And we will revisit it at a later time. Please. Yes, sir. 
Thank you. All right. All right. I'm sorry. Okay. So now, um, let me find my uh, my screen.